hopefully. Oh, Julio, I killed him. Three, two, one, uh, so All right. Best of luck to our competitors in the squad strike. I am going to be solo commentating this match here. Esten versus Rai in the losers finals. And here we go. Esten's going to be starting off really strong here. Gonna be doing really stuff, and this is what I'm gonna say. So it's gonna be really interesting to see Lucina Esten or Lucina Esten, Lucina DDD is a really interesting matchup because we see that it's just gonna be combo fodder, and we see it right here. Luc DDD is such a big character, but has such a good, like big. Oh my god! Spike red by Rai. Rai coming out of the doors flying, able to just absolutely cut down Esten. And as you see, this is loser's final, not winner's final. I will fix that in the next match. Okay. Gets a little footstool off stage. It's not going to really mean it really matter anything. But a whole stock of extra credit going on right now. And Esten really needs to start finding his ground here against um, Rai. Okay. <laughs> uh, a little bit of a patience game there. But that's totally fine. And this is the, this matchup is very rough for DDD. Because Lucina is able to just combo fodder. If you let her, she will just combo you to death. Uh, and we saw that in the first stock, just able to completely control. And Rai seems to be very comfortable here. Going to be getting the back throw. It's not going to really do much here. Gets the up tilt. Going to be sending him off stage. And now we see an off stage potential. There's a grab. That was interesting. Uh, didn't see if they, uh, Lucina land. So. Ooh! Ooh! Oh my gosh. Rai with the parry. Going to be getting another stock here. Having a two stock lead against Esten, who upsets uh dragon breath our number two seed uh and eliminating them from the bracket so now esten here having a lot to prove uh for third place here uh in our third place match or, or, or sorry ugh, to see who will be go facing off in the grand finals this is four grands we will see what will happen gordo is stuck on the side does manage to get the recovery 149 on the lucina she's living for a very very long time esten now looking to make sure trying to get that pick off but we'll see what will happen here. Esten showing up big this tournament right now. This tournament not really looked at at all. Just known as the DDD player, but he's showing off. There's the Gordo. Has been had it. Excellent! Oh, come on, dude. The taunt, really? Okay. <laughs> That's the up B. There's the counter. Gets the hit right there. But that was the saying. Esten has shown up this tournament really hard. And is definitely going to be a force to watch out for next season. But as we see, Lucina going to be going up here, going back into the game. Lucina now has the two stock or the one stock lead at 139 on the DDD. DDD has to really, really careful. There's the upbeat out of shield. And Lucina just can really just look for any hit here and she'll get the kill. Up tilt, not going to be finding the killing there. Upbeat going to be recovering. So going to look at the smash attack. Yeah, there's the counter. Rai able to get that going. So... Lucina taking the game one pretty handily. And this is Losers Finals. Pardon me, folks. So, Rai's going to be going one up. He's going to go up one against the um, Esten. The Cinderella story here is really something. Esten really having some interesting brackets today um, and going into uh, this uh, match here. Uh, initially beating Tatsuki out to draw him all the way down. So immediately, first off, had uh, Upset City taking down our number four seed. Um, but then fell to admin our number one uh, seed. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. And then beating Android in loser's quarters and taking a massive upset against Dra uh, Dragon Breath in our loser semis. So now I'm wondering if he can keep that momentum, able to, um, you know, to what? Okay. The Falcon coming out from Esten. Where's my Captain Falcon fans? Shout out to you guys. Let's get this going. I need to find Captain Falcon like really quickly. Here he is. The golden Captain Falcon skin. Captain Falcon against Lucina. I guess he's a little bit less of a bigger body. One of the, I think he is the fastest character in the game. Uh, well, running speed on the ground, right? So let's see what Esten has. The pocket uh, Captain Falcon here in Losers Finals. Game number two. Really looking for that knee. Oh, up smash, trying to get the read. Doesn't really get it. Um, 
But here we go. Riot's going to be going in, trying to look for anything. Gets the offstage. Um, and there's the kill. Yep, back air. And Rai! Oh, SD. Really good um, offstage pick there. But Rai going to be taken. And Estin doing so many taunts, man. I really hope the taunt to get body combo is true here. But we'll see. Estin really putting out some numbers here. With this pocket uh, Falcon pick. So I'm really interested to see what he'll do with this. 69%. And But the thing is, Lucina is just able to space him out a lot more. Again, sortie against uh, Brawler-like. Um, oh, offstage knee. Is it going to be enough? Is going to be enough. Estin's Falcon showing up right now. Going into a one-stock lead. Let's see what kind of extra credit he can get here. Going to be getting the jump into the Nair. And it's going to be 54%. Great trade going on here. And Falcon's really taking the brunt end of these trades right now. Lucina looking to be... Not going to go off stage. I think learned her lesson uh, from uh, trying to get that... Uh, any of those picks off. But now the grab going to be going at 61% right now of free damage, essentially. 70%... Okay, Estin! Okay, going for the Falcon Punch. Not really the greatest thing, but would have been hype as hell. I don't think I screamed into the mic, but Estin showing up with the Falcon pick, getting the down in the dare to get the kill off to the side. Wasn't a spike, but it was damn near close. <laughs> now it is 1-1. One, one. Estin Rye. Rye's pick stage here. I'm wondering where he's going to go. I don't know what they would have banned to do any of this, but taking the music here. Environmental noises. Okay, right. Going to Battlefield. Ah, oh. uh, goon. <laughs> no? Okay. <laughs> okay. So we are going to be sticking Lucina, Captain Falcon. There are some interesting swaps here. I'm wondering how Rai is going to be able to adapt here. Uh, as we have environmental noises. Oh. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to actual game number three here for DePaul Esports Losers Finals. As we do see the side B coming out from Captain Falcon, as he wasn't able to convert it, and Lucina is now going to try to edge guard, misses the up smash. But now Estin going for the double down smash, or dare, sorry. Estin able to land the down smash, down B going to be going through, and I'm going to be stopping this now. Ah, okay. <laughs> I like what Falcon going off stage. Okay, good tech from Rai. Not even gonna get spike from that. Going to get off stage potential here, and I think this is the great. This was a good pick for Esten because the DDD was not able to do anything. Was just getting constantly hit. Esten was not able to play a game. Tries to go for the knee again. Has been fishing for that knee all time. Up smash does not land. Gets punished with a side smash. Good jump from Rai. Rai now going to be looking for these positions here. Run for as much extra credit as he possibly can. Nice side B. It's going to be unished. The down tilt going to be killing. I did not know that. Huh. Well, it's a kill move. Iframe's not going to allow the Kalkin to be grabbed. And they're both just really waiting for each other to do moves here. I'm really interested to see what this is going to look like. Rai going to be looking here. Kind of looks a little lost in what to do here. Ah! Okay, great. Okay. Esten definitely playing for stream right now. Doing memes. Doing Falcon punches. Throwing them out. And, you know, Rai's just not able to, like, see through it, I guess? I'm sure that Rai is just going to focus up here eventually and understand what's going on. Um, but Esten looking, spamming these down bees. It is going to get stale here soon. Jumps above. Yep, there's the back tear. And that's going to be a one stock up. Last stock here for Esten, game number three. Wonder what he can do. Tries to get the side smash to try to focus. Again, Falcon's side, like, smash attacks are really good. And this is what I want to see. Esten... Playing a lot more aggressive offstage. It's going to get gimped. And it's now going to be 0-0 right here. Last stock, game number three. Who's going to take it? Esten on his signature pocket pick here, Captain Falcon. Or is it going to be Rai on the Lucino? We have to see what will happen. Really nice conversion there. Um, ooh, okay. Two. Let's make it a third. Okay, not going to happen. And, you know, Esten really not being able to get anything started here. Finally gets the back air. Gets a little bit of momentum. See what he's going to do. Does do the jab. Ooh, good patience from Esten there. 
Tries to go to the back here. Tries to get the early kill. He has some rage available. Rai now going to try to kill off the top. Going to miss. Good draw, throw up there. Is he going to go off stage? Ooh, side B does connect. A little bit disjointed. Ooh, down B. It's just really throwing Rai off here. Oh, jab. Not going to miss. And now Rai, or Eston at full rage. Rai looking for any pick right here. Anything's going to do it. Yep, that's going to do it. Side B. Going to finish off. Rai now goes up 2-1 in the set. And, you know, Eston playing out of his mind, actually. Not going to lie. He's doing he's done an excellent job, especially with this weird Falcon pick. Now, I'm wondering if there are any other picks that Eston has that he's going to swap to or if he's going to. OK. I was joking when I said that Undertale was underrepresented. I really was. Uh... Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time in DePaul Esports Smash history, we have a Steve player on stream. Steve uh, notoriously uh, hated. Um, so I'm wondering what's going to happen here. Uh, game potentially la Potentially Esten's last game. Uh, a little bit of an SD happening right there. So I'm seeing what's going to happen. Plays make Lavania. See what he has. Has the offstage combos. Goes for it with the wooden pickaxe. But now he's... I think he should try to mine here. Um, haven't really commentated a Steve game. Uh, that's how long it's been since I've actually had a time to commentate. Is going to be going for a lot of these options. And Lucina not able to box him out. Sword does break. And Esten just kind of boxing out, looking for all the looking for the diamond there. Up smash just kills. Because of course it would. Um and now he has the diamond. Will he be able to craft? Who knows? Lucina just gonna be throwing off. Blows himself up. Doesn't isn't able to craft. It's gonna get punished for it. Rai's now looking to camp this crafting table, but shouldn't really have to. Ah, Hello. It's fine. Hello. We have Android with us again. Uh, we have Steve for the first time in DePa, uh Smash history. Uh, uh, no, it, unfortunately, we have had it. Okay. Well, this is the first time I'm remembering. Oh, Esten pulling out a kill with the Captain Falcon. Finally, he's able to get the diamond tools up. Let's see if he's used anything with his last life, potentially his last life in the tournament. We'll have to see. Will he be able to do it? Ooh. He got his diamond. He, got his, he already climbed all his way up. Let's see, it. Let's see him abuse his diamond power. Let's see him try to get these stocks very early. Well, Rai is able. Oh! Beautiful counter. Double counter. Nobody expects it. No one expects the second counter. Jeez. Rai cleaning up Esten really nicely. Very, very impressive performance from Esten. I do have to say. One thing I've heard on the side while playing Squawk Shake, I think I've heard that Kuka stock every single time I count one. I can see how much he's been predicting Mm-hmm. 